Authorities have recovered the body of a woman who went missing on the Stillwater River Sunday. Her raft overturned in these fast moving waters. It's business as usual though for the local rafting companies. They say having the right gear makes all the difference in the world. Whitewater rafting is a great way to explore the outdoors if it's done safely. We had trips canceled because of the incident and that's what's frustrating us because uh, we are professionals. This is what we do. Tim Hedin is the head raft guide at Absorka River Adventures in Absorki. He's been rafting on the Stillwater River for nearly three decades. I can also go out to the family and it's a tragedy that happened, but frankly, to be honest, they weren't in proper gear, they were not dressed. The Stillwater River was 48 degrees Thursday, and that water was running at about 3,000 cubic feet per second. Hadeen says those are safe conditions if you're prepared. It's just too cold to be swimming out in that water, and they experienced that, and then except for the small child, no one was wearing life jackets. Hadeen says wearing the right gear and protective equipment is key when rafting white water like the Stillwater. That includes a wetsuit and a life jacket. I don't care how strong you are, how good you think you can swim, in this cold water with water moving, you need to have a life jacket. And even if you are an experienced swimmer, you never know what can happen. Fallen trees and logs can change the way the river runs. He's got to be prepared because the situation is always changing on a river. But Hadeen says that's part of the fun. This is the best time to come out is right now. And uh, don't be afraid of because of the event that happened. Uh, as long as you know what you're doing, you're geared up, you're going to have the best time. And, and that's why I've done it for 25 years. It's not because it's not fun. It's because it's, it's awesome. In Absorki, Alina Howder, MTN News.